Uh, Rebecca, you finally decided to show up. Yeah, sorry the ride took so long. We had to go over on the highway. No, 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 there's no reason to apologize. Now, I hope you packed all your stuff, that being your, uh, your snacks, and an extra blanket because Harris told you that I don't have an extra one. No, I didn't say that. What do you mean, you didn't say that? I told you to send a message on the group. Oh, I didn't know I had to, I'm sorry. So, Rebecca, you really don't have your own blanket? Uh-uh. Oh, uh, this is unbelievable. No, 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 don't complain. I'll just, uh, I'll just sleep without one, it's fine. No, Rebecca, you don't understand. This is my house. I don't want my guests to feel, to feel attacked at the fact that they, they didn't bring their own stuff. When someone... Had to tell them. I said, I'm sorry, Jess. There's no reason to get bad at oh, me. Oh, Dad, uh, are you, where, uh, where are you going? Oh, I'm just uh, stopping by the supermarket real quick. You, uh, you, you kids need anything, like, food-wise? Dad, I want you to stop by the nearest Target and get a blanket for Rebecca because we didn't tell her that she had to bring her own. Jess, a blanket's like $30. I can't afford that at the moment. I get my paycheck in about a week. Can't you guys just, uh, find an alternative? No, there's no alternative, Dad. You're embarrassing me in front of all my friends. I, I hate you, Dad. Just that was very rude of you. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. It's just that I get really mad when things don't really go my way. Oh, it's fine, Jess. I'll see you girls later. You know what, Rebecca? You can actually use some of our extra towels that we have for a blanket. Uh, that seems cool. Uh, what are we gonna do now? Oh, we're gonna watch this really old horror movie that I found online. It's very bad. It's very, like, like the CG is so cheap, but it will be fun. Don't worry. Huh. This movie's pretty scary. Guys, she's asleep. <gasps> what do we do now? We execute Operation Gender Bender. <laughs> uh, what? Why are you guys looking at me like that? Check your pants. Uh, why do I need to check my... Haha, uh! ha, we made you into a boy. How? It's simple, we did transgender surgery on you while you were asleep. No, I mean, how did you get a penis? Uh, guys, let's, uh, let's all laugh at Rebecca, or should I say, Ronald. <laughs> oh, how you doing, Rebecca? I'm not Rebecca anymore, I'm I'm Ronald now, I guess. Oh, so you're transgender now, is it? Seems like it's the hit thing nowadays. Huh? Why are you guys so fine with it? I mean, we have nothing against uh, trans people. We're just confused on why you would become trans, like, out of nowhere. Uh, this was against my will, and uh, I guess I can't change it now. Well, if you're trans now, then you might as well embrace it, right? Mm, yeah, you're right. Oh, hey, Rebecca, how's it going? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that is pretty hot. Sure is. Hey, guys, it's me, Chris Pratt. Uh, I'm making a new movie with Disney where I'll be voicing Mickey Mouse and... Hey, are those two girls making out? Yeah. It's pretty hot. <laughs>